Hello and welcome to the Chapel in the Trees again. Um, and this uh, is a longer version of the one I had in, in Keys, just slightly longer. It's called Into the Unknown. As we go into the unknown, in troubled times, in times of past change, two prophecies come to mind. Luke 21, 25. Upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them for fear and looking after those things which are coming upon the earth. And in Isaiah 24, 20, the earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard. I've heard that the Greek word used for perplexity in, in Luke 21 is a word meaning no way out or a no-win situation, going from one thing to another, like one who flees from a bear, only to be mauled by a lion. This is the earth at the moment, but it is suggested later some sort of cosmic disturbance will occur as well, maybe even space-time itself. Creation is still very much a mystery. There are new discoveries all the time. Dark matter was not known about until relatively recently, and even dark energy, even later than that, and they still don't know what either of them are. And the more we find out, the more we find out what we don't know. I like vintage films and have recently watched again The River of No Return, set in the northwest Canadian wilderness in the days of Gold Rush, with a wonderful backdrop of magnificent Canadian scenery. A ruthless gambler called Harry Weston, played by Rory Calhoun, in a desperate bid to stake his gold claim, risks a raft trip down a fast-flowing, dangerous river with his girl girlfriend, played by Kay, um, Kay, played by Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> they are rescued from the river by Robert Mitchum's character, Matt Calder, a farmer, and his young son, Mark. But Weston is eager to continue his trip and steals Calder's horse and gun. The Indians attack the farm and Calder and his son and Kay are forced to risk a river trip on the raft. The river is called the, by the Indians the River of No Return and it is a sort of metaphorical backdrop to a, a symbol of the fast flowing river of time. Risky, impossible to tame or predict. Fast flowing in one direction, another mystery. The people on the river are chasing after different things. Some just after their own interests, just using other people like Weston, and others helping each other to survive. There is loss and new starts in the film and all sorts of ups and downs, but thankfully a Hollywood happy ending we are promised a new beginning and a happy ending in Revelation 22. Then the angel showed me a river of the water of life, as clear as crystal, flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb, and down the middle of the great street of the city. On each side of the river stood a tree of life, bearing twelve crops of food, yielding its fruit every month. The leaves of the tree are for the healing of the nations. To paraphrase C.S. Lewis, who himself lived through some very difficult times, whether I think the times we are in are graver than any other in history, I do not know. If our times are indeed the worst, and if indeed that day is now approaching, what remains that, but that she, we should rejoice because our redemption is now nearer and say with St. John, Amen, come quickly, Lord Jesus. Along with many other people, I have been thinking of the poem, The Gate of the Year, quoted by King George VI, that we should put our hands in the hands of God, and that this is better than the light, and safer than the known way. His light is the strongest, and he knows the way. And in praying for the best for everyone for 2023, 20, I hope everybody has a, a lovely, um, had a lovely new year and Christmas, and I hope and pray this year is a good one too. Um, we are wherever we are on the um, timeline of the river of time. Anyway, thank you for watching. And all the best and take care. Bless you. Bye bye.